already bumped the mic. What's that? I already bumped the mic. <laughs> You're allowed to. It's not ASMR. You can do whatever Bony you want. <sighs> but don't fucking do it again. <laughs> <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. We roll? We are rolling. All right. Boom. Did you come up with a name yet? <laughs> no, did you? <laughs> no. It's what your are, podcast. My phone's ringing. Uh, it's a spam call. Everybody calm down. We're fine. <clears throat> well, <laughs> hi, 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 hi. Uh, this is an exciting day for us a little bit. Yeah. Maybe for you, possibly. It's a very first podcast here. Just chilling, <laughs> like villains. <laughs> So do you, are you already going to ask him to name it for you? Or do, <laughs> do, do you have a name? or Is it like the Washington football team? It's cool. <laughs> Just waiting a year to name it. <laughs> the generic podcast that everyone has. <laughs> Find somebody more interesting than my husband to replace. <laughs> I will never. Yeah. Um, so my hubby is here. I get asked about him quite a bit. Uh, rightly so. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the myth. Um, yeah. Not the legend. <laughs> Just stop at myth. <laughs> the man, the myth. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Question mark. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe in the future we'll have some other guests, but for right now he is generously giving of his time. <laughs> Thank you. <Talent. laughs> did um, Why did you want to do this? Um, I, I thought it would be kind of a hoot. I tried to get him, uh, kind of in front of the camera and it's taken a while. Um, and there are tons of things that always get asked, uh, questions, especially questions for you. People have a lot of questions for you. Yeah. A lot of family stuff. Yes. Lo loads of family questions. She's been trying to get me to do a uh, ASMR video and I've said no every single time. That is. <laughs> Damn All those hair brushing videos that you see uh, that she's doing, uh, she wants me to do it to her hair. And I, I, I said, know. no. <laughs> <laughs> or I could brush your hair. No. 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 Hard pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's cool. Um, yeah. We have a whole bunch of questions that people wanted to ask you. Especially. Yeah, you got a lot on your Instagram. I. I mean, a lot of them were kind of the same questions people asked you before, yeah. like on your Q and A, and uh, you've got two Q and As. That's one thing I noticed. Uh, uh, um, a lot of people don't. Um, they, I, I don't know if it's just they, they see a video of you and then they just run straight to somehow contact you to ask you a question. I think like most of the time, like almost everything is on your Q and A videos when it comes to like. How did you get into ASMR? Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing it? Who's you your know? favorite yeah. artist? Although favorites change. That is true. Who's your favorite right now? Um, probably Kenny K ASMR. Oh, really? And Goodnight Moon. Who's your favorite not safe for work ASMR artist? Uh, probably Ginger and really? Orenda. Orenda? Yeah. Um. Oh, you know what? Also, um, I'm forgetting about PH, but I love Princess Hayes. Is that the girl that doesn't show her face? Yeah. Like that she doesn't? She no face. She does everything herself. She like sets up all her shots for all her videos, all her photos, everything, does it all. Really? It's really impressive to be like behind the camera and not showing your face. What is she? She's In my opinion. <laughs> she's on the hub? She's on the hub. Really? Hmm? Model hub. Hmm, interesting. Um, who was your, not your safe for work? Kenny K and who? Um, Good night, moon. Good night, moon. I don't know too many. I just know, like, I know like, the one. Who do you know? What ASMR are you aware of? Mainly from like Twitch and stuff, and I guess on YouTube because sometimes when I'm when we're like sharing the same computer, like your algorithm comes up, so I see everybody. But um, like more of the Twitch people, like a uh, a uh, uh, Frivy. I know she's YouTube too, but I think she would be my favorite because she kind of falls in. I don't. I mean, she's. She's younger, but she falls in, I think she falls in like more like sensual, soft ASMR, mm -hmm. um, which I like. And I, like, I'm not a huge fan of ASMR. I don't like, there's other things I do to uh, calm down. 
drink, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drink, uh, uh, you know, that, that type of stuff. Don't do that. That's not uh, medicine <laughs> to calm down. Use ASMR. Don't drink. Um, uh, who else? I, I don't know. I don't know. Like you're the, you're really the only not safe for work, uh, um, ASMR artist that mm -hmm. I really know or pay attention to <laughs> on a daily I'm basis. Glad I have your attention. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's fine. Like, I, yeah. I, Frivy, I can I can watch her stream. I think she's a good broadcaster. Um, I think so she's good in everything. I watch anything she's streaming. Oh, crap, yeah. Rumble there. It's not ASMR. <laughs> Your tummy can rumble. <laughs> You're right. Um, no, I think. Uh, can you see my toes in there? <laughs> I don't know if I should. Feet people. My, yeah. Oh wish yeah, for feet people. That they can there see you go. your toes. Um, <laughs> she made me get a pedicure yesterday. Uh. Uh, for, did, did I force him to get a pedicure no, yesterday? No, I, I, I went voluntarily. <laughs> did you ask she, to go? While she was getting a manicure, I went uh, voluntarily <laughs> and got a pedicure. Um, yeah, so where were we? Oh, yeah, I, I, I dig frivy, uh, but I, I do, I do like, uh, uh, it doesn't really matter whether you're a gamer. I guess I'm speaking Twitch. Mm -hmm. If you're a gamer or ASM artist or painter or whatever anybody does on there um i think if they can if they're good broadcasters they don't even have to be the best at what they do but if they're mm -hmm. a good broadcaster they um they uh um, they succeed and i think like frivy can sit there in front of a mic and talk she can share opinions mm -hmm. uh, she can do that so i could sit there and watch uh, uh, that actually you know i forgot i don't know if she's considered not safe for work but amaranth yeah. I mean, I've watched her podcast a few times once she does on Sundays. Yeah. That's very true. I don't even think of her in the category of ASMR, but she's really good with her ASMR yeah. too. Yeah. And I watch everything that she does. I like watching her do just dance. I what, love Amber. What's her what would her category be? Like what do they used to call those Mary Tyler Moore shows? The Mary Tyler Moore is an old show. I don't know if I'm dating myself. I'm not that old. <laughs> oh, like a variety. Oh, that's yeah, what I'm thinking of. married to a grandfather. It's kind of weird. <laughs> he looks really young. Yeah, um, yeah she's um, more of a variety streamer. Yeah. But AS, I mean, when she's doing ASMR on Twitch, she gets tons of viewers. Oh, yeah. But her podcast, like you get the, uh, even like the girls she picks to be on there, they're, they sit there and they talk. They're, mm -hmm. they're every, everybody's interesting and, it's fascinating. Yeah, I love she's such a great business person. I love hearing her talk about like how she feels about OnlyFans and Patreon and like the freedom that that gives her. I think she has such a cool take on it. Can you imagine if you were as busy as her? No. <laughs> with the kids <laughs> dropping off at school. I think I think she streams longer and I think you're probably the hardest working person I know. Uh you know, uh, that you're, you mean you're always constantly doing something, whether person you're, you know, but definitely in content. no person I know, like just just personally, yeah. not not like just in the whole. I mean, I'm yeah. sure Elon Musk works harder than both of us combined. Or you're what, like, I, who you're knows? the hardest working person that lives in this house. <laughs> <laughs> you're the hardest person. No, but what I'm saying is like I, I, but like I think the amount of hours Amaranth just streams just from seeing her on Twitch yes. that that's like more hours than like then everything combined oh like God. all your editing yeah. shooting she all that kind of stuff and you're at work like, day yeah you're at like 50 60 hours a week platforms. yeah but you also have two kids <laughs> you know we're driving different. to school you're yeah. making sure they grow up to be respectable human beings yeah. and stuff like that so um i yeah i do think yeah. that you're uh that you work hard but you know amaranth is just she's a machine yeah. <laughs> she's an absolute machine she's so glorious <laughs> do you have so do you impressive. like do you feel any? Oh, I was, I had oh, go I was ahead. Say. Oh, sorry to take it back. Um, I was going to say that was a tough lesson to learn to not compare yourself to what other people are able to do because everyone's life is so different. Yeah. And I vividly remember looking at like Ruby Fox or Amaranth or being like, hey, if I just put out this number of videos, if I just stream this many days, like I'm going to hit those numbers too. And that's not... Oh yeah, even remotely. Yeah, no. How it is because everyone's so different. I, that's yeah. That's one thing um, that I'll do is I will tell you a lot. Uh, like I'll see you get down, or I see you, you know, and uh, I, I definitely will try to tell you just hey, don't don't do that, and um, you know, I think just being reminded of mm -hmm. that, like not to, not to, uh, uh, yeah, not to do that, not to compare yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just everybody's different. Um, 
you know, it, it just cause somebody's, you know, has large numbers and, and whatever it is, <clears throat> it's not, it's not a zero sum game. Mm-hmm. I think that's the term, like just cause, mm-hmm. you know, it doesn't mean that you can't have large numbers. It's not like, and when you have large numbers, mm-hmm. it's not taken away from her numbers, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's all just kind of, yeah. One giant world. But. Well, but people comment that to me too. Like, how come people are watching this when they should be watching that? And it's not, that, that's not really how it works. <laughs> you that's, too yeah, recommended yeah. me for a reason. Yeah. If there's one part of your business that I know, because I try to stay out, like, I'll help with editing, mm-hmm. I'll help set up shots and stuff like that. Um, um, but, uh, I don't, uh, I don't like when people are, are, uh, mean to my wife, uh, because I don't care if people are mean to me. Cause I, I just, I just don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it just, it does, the, yeah, it doesn't face. bother me. Um, <laughs> but, uh, um, cause I just, I know how sweet you are as a person and I know all the stuff you do and all the people you help. And, um, you know, I just like, you know, ladies in the neighborhood, you know, they're having kids, you go over there and do their laundry from you're busy. Like you don't, like you don't need to be doing that. Like you're just overall a nice person. I just love to do laundry. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at a pile out. of laundry right <laughs> on the couch right now. I'm literally a whole, I wish I could spin the camera. I was lying. I said, I love to do laundry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I, I, so I'll go on your YouTube comments and I will just delete everything that I find like offensive, yeah. bad. Uh, if, if somebody's like really picking on somebody in your comment from your community, I delete, I just, I don't like mean people. Yeah. Uh, I, That's I don't, awesome, by the way. I probably would have never kept going yeah. if I were solely responsible. And I have friends that manage everything themselves, manage all their you know their comments mod everything themselves. that's insane yeah i would lose it drives I, me nuts I'm <laughs> like I'm, I'm soaking up all these bad comments like sometimes <laughs> sometimes sponge. though she uh, um uh she'll get uh ahead of me like she'll wake up early or if she drives the kids so she'll hop onto the youtube comment so uh if um you know, I'll come down from, you know, waking up or whatever and she'll be in a bad mood. And she's like, I had to write back to somebody on YouTube. And I try, <laughs> I just try to tell her, wait until I run through them and get all the bad ones out there, you know? I mean, yeah, the- I try to get in early on videos and write back. Yeah. Those are usually my peeps. But- yeah, that's true. That's yeah. probably the best time to do it. Nasty comments probably aren't the most interesting topic of conversation, though. They're just everywhere. They're on every... I- different I, channel i can't imagine how, i mean I, I don't like again i don't like to pick on people i don't like to hate people but i just don't like bullies and i can't yeah. imagine how big of a loser you got to be to go on and, and leave it, anything negative yeah. anywhere i guess it just makes it too easy to leave a comment without a face you know and yeah everybody i feel like everyone's doing the best they can do if the best you can do is just to just dump shit on someone who's actively trying to put new content out into the world like i'm so sorry i wish i'd give you a hug that totally blows like yeah i hope i hope your life gets better and that that's not just yeah how you're gonna no i time. get it i kind of I, i'd look i look at it as a different way i just don't i mean unless somebody like messes with your money <laughs> you know uh like uh, I, I wouldn't give a bad yelp review i just wouldn't leave yeah. a review because it's kind of affecting people's jobs it, yeah i feel the same way but back to the zero some people some people probably a very small fraction leave comments because they're like man i'm i'm putting youtube videos out why am i not getting views and you got five hundred thousand views and it just that comparison it's just like a, yeah it's a comparison or them, jealousy them thing or whatever and like oh she's got boobs so that's the only reason she blah, blah, blah. i you know, somebody said that to me once like oh i wish i had boobs like maddie so i can get a a, 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 a oh, big yeah. youtube following that's all people say yeah I but I, I, I like to point too. out i was like I, you can't swing a dead cat on the internet without hitting nine thousand girls with boobs <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of them would love to have what you have on YouTube. Uh, and they could, I guess, but it's the amount of hours from however long you've been doing this, three years ago, something like that, three Almost, or four years. Yeah, two and a half. Years. Just like the sheer amount of hours it takes out of your day and staying up late, you know, mm-hmm. if I'm working or whatever, it's just staying up late to film and then waking up early, to, you know, with the kids. I yeah. mean, it's every day. It's every night. Yeah. There's no For days sure. off. <laughs> I mean, unless you <laughs> literally want to take a, but you, but yeah. you take a day off and then next thing you know, you're like saying, if I don't post here, then the, uh, then these numbers go down and it's like yeah. a constant, a constant grind. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I feel bad. We're talking about my channel too much, but it's interesting because we don't sit and dissect it that often. So yeah. it's kind of. I'm, what Cute. I'm doing right now is I'm looking at your mic and I'm like, what, and I'm just thinking of your soft voice. I'm like, is that close I enough? Know. Is it going to be? Uh, I uh, want to just do like this. I, I feel like can. I'm just going to do that. That good? I did it. That's like a professional podcast move, like where you move the mic, like, you move it around. Like. <laughs> We're such you're, pros. You're already a pro. I know. Tell me about <laughs> it. That was a question. I had some questions right now. And that was the question was inappropriate. YouTube comments. Oh, inappropriate YouTube comments. Um, yeah. What do you think is the question that you get asked the most in relation to the whole? Well, from channel? from that from that list that you put out on Instagram, is it? Do I get jealous? That was one of the ones. Do I get jealous, or what do I think of your OnlyFans? And it was a combination of all those. Mm -hmm. um, I met you though when you were doing Playboy. You'd already mm -hmm. posed for Playboy. Um, and you had like a, not a weird Playboy career, but you post from a couple times. It was never like a Playmate thing. I can mm -hmm. hear this thing moving. I'm like, I'm like, am I bumping this? This is just for color back here. <laughs> it's as come as <laughs> you are. This black and white is yeah. just for color. Yeah, black and white is just for color. Some kind of contrast with, <laughs> for our thrown together uh, thing. Um, you boy Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so you did a couple things. I mean, so you were going to the mansion a lot. You uh, you were able to go there on like any Sunday you wanted, if mm -hmm. I remember correctly. It was a long time ago, mm -hmm. but you were able to go there on any Sunday to, to hang out with uh, Hef and a lot of girls and stuff like that. So I never, um, I don't know, did I ever act jealous? No. No? No. I think there was a time like much later when I, I don't know if you'd want this story told, but it was just a. We cut it if I don't. <laughs> just <laughs> cut it. It was just like, just a fragment in time, but it was something so interesting to hear from you that it always stuck in my head. Where I think I was like lamenting, like, oh, I had my playmate shot, but I just wish I would have done this or that. I wish I would have gotten it. And I think you said, like, kind of, I wanted everything for you at that time, but maybe almost it was good you didn't get it or maybe yeah. it would have changed our relationship something yeah would have happened yeah, I, mean, I, and I, was I don't like, remember yeah, saying that but maybe i did or maybe yeah. that's maybe that's how i felt were you lamenting on it or were you like obsessed or stuck on it <laughs> <laughs> um is it a lamentation would you say <laughs> um <laughs> do you laminate it yeah so no i maybe wrinkle. i thought about it because i mean you had some friends uh cassie um we went to their wedding mm -hmm. uh uh, the, she, you know, she, she has a great relationship with her uh, mm -hmm. husband. Um, and, uh, but she did, she traveled around a lot when she was playmate mm -hmm. and did that. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I would have dealt, dealt with it fine. I guess I've just, uh, I've I never, you would have dealt with it fine yeah. too. You've always been good with everything, but it would have been more missing you rather than like, Oh, who's the guy I've never done that. Yeah. Like, I don't know, but you've always been so loving towards me that I've never like had a reason to ever just be like, Hey, you're, oh, you're going up with the girls. What's, you know. What, what dude are you? Yeah, what me? dude. I, to me, that's the stupidest thing. And actually, all those Playmate uh, girls that you were friends with, all of them had just had the most down-to-earth, cool boyfriends. They weren't, they, or, or, or husbands, yeah, whatever they turned out to be. Was, everybody was, everybody was cool. That's yeah. a good point. They never turned, they, they were never just like the washboard abs, uh, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Who even wants washboard abs? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know. And you never went after those guys, so. Like, no, <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Yeah, I don't know. So do you, I don't, so yeah, I've, I never, I've never given you any type of crap for OnlyFans or anything like no. that. I like, I don't know. I it, Whatever makes people happy. If people sign up for your OnlyFans yeah. and they're happy and you're making them relaxed and mm -hmm. I don't know, I mean, Good for good for them. Good for mm -hmm. all those. I mean, they're doing what they want. Like, I don't. I don't like to police what other people spend like their money on. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, I don't Absolutely. know. Do you get the? Do do any of your fans like say they get made fun of because they spend money on only fans? No. Or? But I think even I think ASMR in general is kind of a private thing that people don't feel comfortable always talking. Like, you could be watching ASMR on YouTube and be kind of like hiding it. I don't think it's yeah, that different. Yeah, I'd probably hide if I was at work or something. <laughs> I don't think it's that yeah. different to OnlyFans. Like, hey, 
you know, what's this, what's this girl rubbing her hands on your face? I'm like, don't worry about it. I'm just relaxing. It's fine. Her. Yeah. <laughs> But cool, man. If people find it relaxing. No, I'm watching know. Dr. Disrespect right now. Like, you have it twisted. <laughs> yeah, twisted. <laughs> I don't know what you thought you saw. <laughs> yeah. I can see how people can get embarrassed. But yeah. I, I guess just more people should just be, um, I don't know. Yeah. It's lovely. I love, I love all that. It makes more sense to me to make, like, not safe for work content than safe for work content. It's so nice. There's yeah. a need for it, appreciation for it. I, I don't know. You're well because you're more of a not safe for work person, <laughs> just in yeah, general in your life. Probably. And it seems like you have more of a smile on your face after you make uh, like an yes. OnlyFans video or something like that. And those just go more smoothly, like no cuts, just everything. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I just realized I'm really low riding in this couch, but I'm like really Are comfortable. <laughs> I don't know if it's very <laughs> unprofessional. Um. So what did I hear the other day? I was listening to some podcast. I don't know if you had it on like. Alexa, we call we call her a dog. Not we don't say the A L E X A name because <laughs> uh, then she'll start playing music. But um, some comedian was talking about um, they were talking about Patrice O'Neill. Is it Bill Burr? It might have been Bill Burr. Maybe it's Bert or something like that. Anyway, Patrice O'Neill had this thing where he said Pee Wee Herman's. Uh, uh, biggest pro oh, yeah. I guess okay so what they were doing they were telling a story about Patrice O'Neill was being asked to do some like teeny bop show mm -hmm. I don't know what it was called I don't remember but um, he kept on saying no and it was a pretty popular show and his reasoning was <clears throat> the reason Pee Wee Herman uh, uh, got, in got in trouble because he was a jerk off in a theater type of guy but but on a kiddie but show happened to make a kid but show. happened to make a kid show uh and then when he got caught in the theater mm -hmm. everybody's like no they like they had lost their shit right mm -hmm. so when and it, it, that was his rationale for it was uh hey i I'm a jerk off in the theater type of comedian and I'm not going to go on it. So I want people to know I'm a jerk I'm off. I'm just going to yeah. keep jerking off in the theater. <laughs> yes. Just feel peace. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of like where I look <laughs> at it. Like me. you is you're more of a not safe work person in your personal life and mm -hmm. everything. I mean, granted, like we have our family life where I don't think, I mean, you're, I think you're the most wonderful mother, uh, you know, our, yeah. you know, most of the smarts from our kids come from you. You're the more educated one of us I too. <laughs> you're the one that, t you know, easily helps them with homework and stuff like that. So, <laughs> but I, yeah, I feel that to be completely separate yeah. as well. But separate, yeah. right? Yeah. But when it says me and you, when it's date nights mm -hmm. and, uh, all kinds of stuff like that, then it's more, uh, NSFW, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, stuff but agreed um, i think probably the biggest unhappiness or like the biggest like loneliness for me is just feeling like i have to always hide or act a certain way or pretend like i'm not yeah. making content in a certain way which yeah some of that stuff you just maybe it's wrong to not be totally upfront about it yeah like show it off or maybe that's just i feel like that's just kind of what you have to do i mean there's some people um, that know you do it and there's some people that don't know you yeah. do it just and there are neighbors and people who know and are so cool about yeah. it unexpectedly it's supportive i think it's because they meet you first if anybody knows you for more than five minutes is my foot wrong <laughs> if anybody knows you for more than five minutes um and then just you know just kind of connects with you. You can, you can tell them you do anything and they're just not going to care. <laughs> Honestly, I just, I don't think, I don't think that, um, that anybody would really care that much. Um, but they, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people that know though. And, uh, yeah. you know, it feels better though. Like it, it feels better for me to get things off my chest and be like, Oh yeah. Less stress. Do you only fans really not a big deal. <laughs> butthole pictures, etc. <laughs> Do you have any butthole pictures? <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> I just like to lead big. <laughs> like, and then when they see what I really do, they're like, oh, it's oh that's nothing. Fine, probably. <laughs> um, what, uh, uh, what are some yeah. more questions? I'm curious. Of, okay. uh, you got them written down? Some? Um, is your husband comfortable with your OF? Um, oh yeah, so I guess I didn't finish overall. I'm, yeah, I'm comfortable with the OF. I don't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, anybody can look at my wife's body, and it, it just it just doesn't bother me. There's mm -hmm. just nothing about it that bothers me one bit. And uh, no, I'm just proud of you. No, oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Next Thanks. question. I don't want to talk about you. Okay. Don't talk about. It's too much now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Says okay. 
Does your husband nod off when you talk to him? Do you both get along with your in-laws? Whoa, 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 wait, slow down. Do I nod off when you talk to me? Like, well, what, you're boring? I don't know if we should save some of these. Yeah, am I boring or do I cause you to want to sleep? Or is it? I think it's more an ASMR. Sense. Oh, okay. Like, do okay. I? <laughs> it's like, yes, she's extremely boring. She's I nod boring off all the time. Shit. <laughs> when she talks about her book club, <laughs> I'm basically staring through her. <laughs> I could be, I I couldn't be more uninterested when she's talking about some book club that she's in. Um, but no, her voice and stuff. Uh, there's times where like you whisper in my ear, and I think it kind of gives me somewhat like I like I, I'm not a type of guy that gets tingles, you know, like in the, in the ASMR sense, um, like with videos and and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, you feel like whispered in my ear, whispered sexy stuff in my ear where it's like, yeah, it's super relaxing, super turned on. You're pretty good at back rubs and stuff. Like overall, you're a calming person and you make me calm. Thank um, you. But no, I don't like while you're talking to me, I don't just like fall asleep. I think it's like your fans or I, I, I guess they're your fans. I don't have to do like quotes. I mean, fans. Um they uh i think they just they're they're in a routine with you watching your videos so you mm -hmm. they just know when you come on screen that's when they fall asleep mm -hmm. so but in real ah, life i never yeah. thought about that it's yeah. like a sleep induction like, yeah oh. it's like a routine yeah it's right? routine. yeah just kind of like what, what, what at night we I watch feel shows weird fans. i say like my friends are my supporters <laughs> there's yeah. not really a good all-encompassing word Even fans there's nothing wrong with saying fans yeah. i mean they're they're, they're fan of, I mean, you're fans of a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know I right? am a fan of everything. Yeah, there, exactly. Sir. Um, so yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, uh, well, I already forgot to quote. No, I don't fall asleep when you talk to no. me. Just, uh, yeah. We talk about lunch and dinner and stuff like that. <laughs> we primarily talk about food, which yeah. is exciting and yeah. it's very hard to fall asleep too. What was that second question? Um, yeah. Some of them I'm wondering if we should save for another day, like how like the how did you meet and the corny pickup line question. Yeah, yeah, we can save them. Um, but then kind of family stuff, like uh, do you both get along with your in-laws is a good question. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I think there's a, um, you know, we were both raised different. Like you were raised more hippie, you know, mm -hmm. um, out in the middle of nowhere type thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I was raised, you know, just like two working parents. Um your parents are, you know, uh, uh, together, you know, mm -hmm. my divorce when I was young. So it's like, there's a lot of, uh, um, a lot of differences there, but other, otherwise, yeah, no, we, I, I love your parents, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like my parents love you. Yeah. I, I would venture to say that my parents love you better than they love me <laughs> a bit and that your mom and stepdad might love me better than they love me. Oh man, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, like but, if you yeah. asked each of them like who would you rather take out to dinner or like who do you want to spend time with i think they would I think they, give yeah. us a swap yeah i think they'd swap yeah <laughs> they love us like my yeah. parents love me your parents love you but yeah it's um with with your parents we just can't throw the kids off them and do whatever we want though like mm -hmm. uh, uh um because your parents are more of like everybody in compass or they they talk to us they talk to the kids it's not like but i think uh when it comes to my side, mm -hmm. like sometimes we can just, they'll just forget about us mm -hmm. and we just they'll throw just on the like kids. They'll just push us out of the house. <laughs> they'll just like, hey, get out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mother-in-law will be like, even if he's at work or something, I'll be like, oh, do you, did you, did you want to go somewhere? Do you need to like, go <laughs> get your nails done or something? Like, do whatever you want. Leave the house. Leave the house. Fly to New York. This. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. And then the clouds part and like mm -hmm. sun shines down on me. <laughs> um what was one thing uh, uh yeah we could say some of those questions for uh definitely for next time um uh oh one thing i agreed to when we we're when she, when she brought this up uh one thing i agreed to i said a i don't want like if you're gonna do some kind of podcast i don't want it to be like the what are, what are those people? And I don't have anything against them. You know, like oh, the rapping. like the minivan. Yeah, like, like the rapping minivan families. Yeah. Like maybe they're like super religious or whatever, which nothing wrong with. But Rap just about Chick-fil-A. Yeah, yeah. And I like it says if I was going to show up anywhere with you, it wasn't. It was going to be more like like real talk or 
you're a jerk off in the theater type of person. <laughs> like I, I'm like, I'm not, I don't want you to pretend that, like you have an OnlyFans and all of a sudden you're going to come out here and be like, I just go to Chick-fil-A. I'm not going to put myself in a kid show box. Yes, exactly. <laughs> kid show. When I just want to be like, blah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. There's enough kid shows in this house. <laughs> no, I don't need another one. Um, but uh, mm-hmm. I also said I want to do because there's no sponsors, you're not getting ads or anything. <laughs> I go because I like to give my opinion, mm-hmm. so I always want to uh, uh, pick something to tell people to buy. Yeah. <laughs> I so love it's going to be that. an important opinion yeah. platform oh, yeah. for you because I got a couple. I got a couple of my like, favorite purchases. Um, oh yeah, uh, throughout the my lifetime. Um, but I think I'm going to start with, do you know which one I'm going to go with? Which one have I been happiest about? And it's very small and it's a cleaning product. I'll give you I that. was just going to say, it. I know it's a cleaning product and now I'm 100% certain that I know which it starts one? with an A. Yeah. It's it, got a it, double F. <laughs> <laughs> double F. Yeah, it's about weird. A, a fresh, mm-hmm. A-F-F. R E S H. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You throw this stuff in your dishwasher, though. <laughs> your dishwasher could look like shit. And then uh, you just throw this in, and it, it, the seriously, the inside of it looks brand new. It's cheap as hell, too. I don't know. Link actually, link it. Uh, yeah, that's. Yeah. So is that advertisement? Because you're an Amazon affiliate. If you link it in the description in this. Yeah. I don't, either okay. way, there's no nobody's paying me to say this because <laughs> I just bought it from Amazon, but it's freaking awesome. So. I would say uh, buy that. So that's my product recommendation for the thing. And if, now that's off my chest. If a now fresh, I'm gonna go. If a, <laughs> you're done here. Yeah. If a fresh wants to sponsor a trick off in the theater <laughs> yeah, yeah. type of podcast. Yeah. Hey, there's a girl that shows her tits on OnlyFans. Do you want to uh, sponsor? Um, <laughs> get a sweet sponsorship going. Yeah. Do, uh, do you do you have a product you've bought lately mm-hmm. that you really love? Cheese and rice. I have a yoga set. That I swear, also from Amazon, everybody asks me where it's from. And now I've bought my fourth color of it. It's absurd. Yoga set. What do you mean? Like a... Like a top that matches with the oh, yoga clothes. pants. Super sexy. Oh, is that the like the corduroy looking yeah. ones? Is that the ones uh, Katie was wearing that one yep, time? Yep. Her, your photographer? Yep. First first came from Katie and now I've hot. got four colors of them. Yeah, and those are hot. Everybody everybody that I meet like nice. asks about it, asks yeah, them. Good purchase. It's nice. a it's a it's a hit. <laughs> I like it. There you go. I like it a lot. That's yeah. cool. Um what else? What? There's just a, on my questions list, there's just the word silicone. With a question mark? Question mark. <laughs> what are they talking about? Like something about me? I think they oh. want to know if you have any uh, <laughs> oh, your enhancements. Are they, sa- are they saline? Or how- no. Oh, no, they're silicone. Sir. Okay. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know what the. Oh, my God. <laughs> soft. Do you even touch the breasts? <laughs> so they are silicone? Wait, they're fake? <laughs> Uh, don't you have, okay let's go do back you, to the wrapping to minivans go somewhere and think about this for a while <laughs> um yeah no they're, yeah. they're silicone yeah. i think i'm guessing so, that's what the person wanted to know if they were. probably yeah <clears throat> any thoughts uh anything to impart to the mm, audience no i mean i i if, if you're thinking about getting fake boobs get them if you don't want them don't get them like yeah. it's pretty simple everything everything in my mind is usually pretty simple and I know sometimes that might upset you when you come to me with problems, <laughs> when maybe I should just just say, oh. If you want to do it, do it. If yeah. you don't want to do it, don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Wash my hands of that. <laughs> I won. Managed. <laughs> <I'm> managed. Managed. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I just... Uh, um, uh, some, some people have very strong feelings on breasts, which I totally get. Whatever you... Whatever's your thing, man. That's your thing. I mean, some people like love natural. Some people love fake. Oh, yeah, as long crap. as you keep those feelings to yourself, <laughs> like, like, yeah, to it, some it, extent. Like, if you don't like fake boobs, you don't walk up to a girl with fake boobs and go, Ugh, you know, and just yell at her like yes. some monster. Well, like, you would never insane. walk up to someone, but you would comment it, you know, online because why you do that? I just I mean, people do. It. Why would you? People get rubbed up. <laughs> I don't get I just don't get why you would get revved up at somebody you don't know on the internet yeah. and just say you know act like you know something or like or act like your opinion on their boobs matters I don't know yeah like I get criticism mm-hmm. of something like 
I don't know if you put out a video and somebody's like, you know what? I don't like the scratching so much. Even that, like, uh, all right, mm. cool. You don't like scratching. Just go to the next video and then come back when there's not scratching. Yeah. But like the more of like, I, don't, I guess it's constructive criticism if somebody mm-hmm. was just like, oh, I don't know if they just gave you some technique tip mm-hmm. or something like that. That's totally cool. Yeah, you know? I get that. I like, I kind of like when people are like, oh, the scratching's not for me, but yeah. if you could just do a video with just whispers only, don't just don't touch the mic, then I'm like, oh, thank you. That, yeah, that's yeah, an yeah. idea. I like that. Well, that's what, that goes back to the negative comment things. And like I said, unless somebody's messing with your money, like, like if you leave a bad review on a bank or a restaurant because they mm-hmm. just like didn't give you the food you ordered and they refused to give it to you, <laughs> so you like actually you paid for money something. That's in yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you actually paid for something and you didn't get it. Like yeah, go on, go on there, and leave a bad review all you want. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's their fault for like you know. That, but if it's that's just, fair, someone's producing something for free. Yes, for exactly. your consumption. If you're producing something for free on YouTube and then you're just going to complain about it, like you suck. <laughs> I, I actually don't even mind the thumbs down stuff because I think yeah. the thumbs down is like it does something to the algorithm so if somebody thumbs down your video mm-hmm. like it could be a troll but it also could just be something like hey don't show me this video on my algorithm anymore mm-hmm. which is completely fine that's yeah. your right to do People it but to go in the comment section and be like want. you're a slut whore blah 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 <laughs> like all right like wow like, yeah the time it took you to do that a she probably didn't see it because <laughs> i just went down and erased it uh, and b I, I just sorry i never saw it yeah sorry you never saw it I, yeah and to, to me it just does, what a gonna, waste of that's time that's gonna rile energy. people up to know that i don't read my own negative comments I yeah feel. I feel bad for people now. They realize they're wasting their time. You're, it's not your duty to read their <laughs> negative comments. It's not a right in life that if you leave a negative comment for something that that they that the person that you left it for has to read it. Like screw yeah. you, you wasted your time writing that that that, that you know ASMR hey, Maddie's a mm-hmm. you know so and so. Yeah. All right. Well, she never Don't saw it. Slut. Now I saw it, and I'm deeply hurt. <laughs> I'm going to therapy now because that's all I read is negative comments about my wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I I'll don't try know. to do better and not be. Nah, it's not, such it has nothing slut. to do with you. You've had <laughs> be less. Slutty. You've had people come back, and I I know that because I remember you told me about like you get nice long messages from somebody that goes, you know what? When you first started, I left a message uh, that, and they say what they said in wrong. Yeah, and they said, I you mm-hmm. know I didn't misjudge you, and I'm sorry. That's all I wanted to say is I'm sorry, mm-hmm. and, you, and you'd never hear from them again. Like, it's not like they were That's trying to. That's true. Like, there are people that kind of have a a little awakening or you know a realization and come back which is really nice that's really cool Very i mean it's unexpected big. and yeah like there's times where i should have done that like yeah, i've made a mistake and yeah. i'm just like i should have went back and apologized I'm like, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. you should apologize for yeah. all the nasty comments that you leave on yeah no, i've never left i've never left it no <laughs> the only time i'd ever be mean to somebody is if they were a bully first if that makes sense yeah so no i would never mm-hmm. i don't know i mean i say i would never and i like I, I wouldn't never. even if somebody is a bully first. I think I wouldn't because well, you wouldn't because you're nicer than me. <laughs> <laughs> something is is shitty for them to to have the time and the need to do that. Yeah, I think, but I can't see it from the outside either. Like to me, I'm just like, oh, I was raised not to really wear a bra. Like I don't prefer mm. to wear a bra if I don't have to. Oh, don't get me started on those. So, yeah, you get a like, lot of the bra. Fucking cover your bra. She knows what she's doing. She can't afford a bra. <laughs> afford a bra. She bought a Tupac painting. <laughs> <laughs> she can afford a bra. <laughs> I cannot afford a bra now. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess now. <laughs> should plug that company. I think that was just so, I don't know, something. But um, I've used that. Much. Yeah, I don't know. Like even telling yeah. somebody they should wear a bra. It's, it's I, ins- I don't feel that you can tell a woman what to no, put on her body. No, that's ridiculous. Tell, uh, tell a woman that, yeah, wear a bra. <laughs> you wouldn't do that in person. No, you wouldn't do it in <laughs> but person. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Yeah. If I, I always feel like if I, I choose to actively put myself out there for judgment and yeah. goodness gracious, I'm going to get some judgment, you know? True. I mean, yeah. I that mean, that's stinks. Part of, you wish yeah. people would be like, hey, thanks. You put out free videos. Yeah. That's super helpful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. not ever. But in, in like defense that. of co- commenters, Especially YouTube, I like because you you've never talked about your OnlyFans comments as being, but maybe like one or two people, like somebody was inappropriate oh, or whatever. So but it's like so much different. Rare. Yeah, it's like out of like 
ten thousand people like coming and going. Yeah. There have been two people like it's that you've like restricted so or blocked. Rare. Yeah, and yeah. for like like maybe like threatening, you know, it's yeah, not yeah. even like being rude. Like yeah. it's crazy how awesome people are. Yeah, <laughs> on OnlyFans. Yeah. It's crazy how supportive. Are they like, trying? Like, are they awesome because they're are. trying to like? Are they trying to get in your pants like that? Or are they just no. like nice and just like respectful? Like, just, they just like, love what you do. Super, super appreciative. Like, yeah. I I loved your YouTube video. Like, you yeah. uploaded on the Hub. Like, yeah. thank you so much for that. I watched this. I watched that. Like, this is so yeah helpful to me. It's awesome. Well, a lot of the um. Yeah, YouTube commenters like uh, again. I don't want to like crap on them too much because they're uh, like. So say you get a hundred thousand people watch mm-hmm. a video, and then there's a thousand comments, right? Yeah. So it's, it's that one percent. I don't know. You 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 went farther than me. <laughs> College. I don't know. You do the math. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then out of those thousand comments, you know, you're talking maybe ten percent of them are bad, mm-hmm. or five percent of them are bad. It's just a small minority, and that's the loudest. But there's so many yeah. nice people that leave, uh, and it's uh, people that are moved to even leave a comment in the first place. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, like one percent. But like, like, and then you know, you get people crack. Like somebody, somebody will say something nice to you, and then you get some idiot. No oh, simp, or you know, mm-hmm. simp is the new thought. Thought was the new whatever. I mean, they, they, they you know, it's actually here's what i'll say about youtube you, you, there's nothing there's very few original youtube commenters <laughs> you know outside of bit just people being nice but like if you think you're making the first joke you are not mm-hmm. <laughs> you are not i came here for the two big da, 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 microphones, microphones. Oh, <laughs> oh bro you got her <laughs> something is rising and it ain't jesus like it, and you know god bless them i get it they're making a joke they're not being mean there's been some ones that like have made fun of you that have made both of us laugh though yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, so uh uh when somebody uh called you spongebob or something like that they made fun yeah. they made fun they of, made fun of how square my yes. I have a very square face like, Which I don't think so, but whatever. Yeah. If somebody did, and yeah, making somebody's face is rude. But the way they said it, we both <laughs> we both cracked up. Sometimes they will go so over the top in their hatred and criticism of me that that it's very entertaining. Yeah, like, yeah. Damn, how did you pick out that like minute <laughs> detail of like my facial structure? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just bag on it. I liked it. <laughs> well uh, done. So yeah, there are some people like that. Some but, people are just out there working. Yeah. 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 Good for them. But, but yeah, if the the vast majority of people are super helpful and constructive and nice, but it unfortunately happens to be like the yeah the minority that stands out. Yeah, because they mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, what what would you say overall is uh um? Oh, there's another good question. Sorry. Oh, there is. Okay, yeah, go. No, 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 you go first. And no, I, no, you I, had one. I, uh, what would you say overall is like the um um uh i don't i don't know how to say it like your overall family life you know what we do are like for your for your fans out there mm-hmm. is it are we uh do, do we have do you think we have the normal like leave it to beaver uh life with like uh, something spicy set off to the side mm-hmm. or do we or are we a lot different than that uh does that make sense like mm-hmm. um what, what should they know like what sh- what should your fans know about you i mean are you constantly out partying do you, mm-hmm. is no, the it, yeah is the creator content creator lifestyle is that like glamorous um no it's not glamorous <laughs> Does everything in your life is everything in your life awesome? That's what you know what I mean because because yeah. when you look at people's Instagrams and their oh, yeah. stuff, you know what I mean. Like yeah, um, no, I my my life is awesome to me, but I'm so quiet. I'm so introverted. I like just being home, being with my family, playing with my kids. That's really all I like to do. But I like the juxtaposition with making not safe work content, especially where at the end of the day, maybe like pour a glass of wine, start working on something, start editing or set up a shot that's kind of sexy and just be like, oh, like I feel, I feel like a grown ass woman. (laughs) I feel good. Yeah. It's kind of, I don't know. I like that balance. I know a lot of people, unfortunately, kind of being in the suburbs that just don't have that balance, don't get a chance to dress up, be sexy, kind of feel 
desirable or feel like they're kind yeah. of doing something sexual and I, I like that that works for me yeah. it makes me happy to have that no, I, I, I notice that is that there are a lot I mean we're friends with a lot of married people and mm-hmm. stuff like that and the amount of uh, from what I see like I but things could be different behind closed doors but I'm just like do you guys ever get dressed up do you you know I, I think about what people's sex life like a lot dude. I do, <laughs> I do too and I I am fascinated. Someone could sit me down and tell me about their sex life for like 10 hours. And I would just like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I would just listen. I would, not yeah. I would love to know. And I think I've asked you before, like, how often do you think they have sex? How often do you think they? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I would be so fascinated to know the details of like anyone. Like if you could get that life. answer. Like if you could look, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, yeah, I would like that too. For sure. I'm nosy like that. Um, yeah, me too. I should yeah, say. I guess. Uh, uh, it's so important and no one talks about it and it's just. So no, yeah, I know. I think that's why a lot of people, uh, uh, I, I don't want to say maybe get divorced or they mm-hmm. might have bad relationships because they don't consider that mm-hmm. part of a relationship. And that kind of goes back to like, uh, like sometimes I get tired of the um, the wrapping minivan stuff mm-hmm. and because it, it, it's all about like, oh, you're, you got to be a good parent and you got to be. Uh, and you got to do this and everything's like about, you know, everything's just like about being like that perfect family and nothing's about like, mm-hmm. like the realness, like, w- like we tell people all the time, like we, we do date nights once, twice a week, I mean, mm-hmm. sometimes twice a week if something's going on. We, and we have set, like pre COVID, it would have yeah, been pre- oh, yeah, pre- yeah. obviously pre COVID, but, and people are like, you guys go on dates a lot. Like, yeah. Yeah, man, it's important. <laughs> it's important. It's important to us. We're just like, we need to get out of the house. The kids need to, you know, chill with the babysitters mm-hmm. and or or family or whoever. And and um, yeah, we need to go mm-hmm. and do something. And not and sometimes it's just to get out of the house. And there's been nights and they're fun nights. We'll just go to the bar and we'll just stare at our phones and like just catch up on things we don't get to catch up mm-hmm. on and we drink and we give each other a kiss like and tell each other stuff that we read yeah t- like, talk about stuff that we read or what show we're gonna mm-hmm. watch it's not all like it's not like a date night i think too many couples have that like they go out like mm-hmm. twice a year when they go out it's like they get dressed up and they have to hold hands across the table mm-hmm. and they have to stare and if it just happens to be the night where they, they just have nothing to talk yeah. about it then they probably overanalyze what's we wrong know, we know somebody who was telling us a story of how they like burst into tears at their dinner because like the anniversary dinner wasn't what they planned it to be and appetizer was cold and i don't know we if know you remember this oh, i don't yeah. know if i remember this but i guess you can't say it no i won't okay, say okay. but but i remember we were both kind of just like oh like, yeah it's, that, it's built that's up crazy but that's so much pressure to put on any outing yeah and yeah, you have to imagine they don't have good communication. Yep. If you can't just laugh at the situation, if you feel like this is your one chance at romance for the year, like if you just if you have a date night stinks. once a week, you can screw up a lot of them because <laughs> the next one's only a week away. <laughs> you can get in arguments. You can do whatever. Once again, yeah. Manage. Do we argue? Easy. Was that a question? Do we argue? Oh, I thought I saw that. No, one was is Maddie nice to you off camera? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's. I mean, there we there's times where we're, like we'll get into it. I'm probably less nice to her. You're probably unfortunately, the mean one. <laughs> I'm probably the mean one. Yeah, but it's not mean. Is it mean or do I just like it, do, like no. when I have the day planned? It's like you have a it's like a military type thing. It's like okay, style. yeah. Okay. It's just a relationship thing where you have to get to know how the other person expresses themselves. Is that I'm your psychology like coming in? The sweetie, honey, like yeah, take things slow. Like I'm gonna pamper you, and you're just kind of like, hey, we need it. Yeah, doom, doom, doom. We need you need to do 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 this, and and we can get to six mm-hmm. o'clock, and then open the bottle of wine mm-hmm. <laughs> or whatever time. Sometimes three o'clock. <laughs> Stop it <laughs> for you. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, one example of that I think too. Not to go off track, but uh, like anything you do to me, I'm like. You look great. You're so handsome. I love that. I love that shirt on you. No, it's not too tight. And I'll put something on and be like, that really doesn't do anything for your butt. So I, I'd not recommend wearing that. I, I just your hair I, looks frizzy and I, your butt. I'm gonna, flat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a guess here. Just, a, just a guess. I bet more people agree with me. Mm-hmm. I think you should tell your partner exactly what you like or you don't like. I think you're doing a disservice if you just say you like everything because 
I, I get on you because I'll just, I'll wear something You're like oh yeah that looks great on you I love it and then I'll look and then or then like five other people are like oh man that shirt is like super tight what are you trying to wear a medium you <laughs> fat boy or something like that Do you think you and, have packs yeah yeah like all my don't. guy friends like oh yeah yeah <laughs> like that dad bods out you're not doing good and I'm like damn it Maddie <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you <laughs> I trusted you. <laughs> And then I'll say something to you, and you'll be, oh, I, no, blah, 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 blah. And then you go out, and 15 people go, your ass looks so good in <laughs> those pants. And then you're like, pants. thank you. And then you look over at me and smile. He picked it out for me. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Yes, most people will agree with you. Yes, I agree with you, because over time I've learned you should be honest. Yes, always <laughs> tell somebody they have a booger in their nose. Never, never do you, we have drywall repair that we have to do now it's jamming a bony elbow um oh you did leave a mark (laughs) very bony god um yeah i I, you always tell somebody they got a booger in their nose or food stuck in their teeth and i would always do that but if something doesn't particularly look good i'm just not wired that way to be like maybe you should change i just kind of i don't know why i can't uh i just want to lose people out Interesting. I just want to give you a little, a little boost. A boost. I don't want to boost. <laughs> Keep me down. Keep me on the low road. <laughs> it's, it's better down there. Keep my Less people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, I think you did a pretty good job. I was talking in the beginning about the uh, 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 broadcasting, and I think you did a good job, along with those other Thank people you. we talked about who are good broadcasters. Those, yeah, yeah. top notch. All right, so, so what's the deal? Like, <laughs> if you find somebody that wants to be on your podcast, um, somebody interesting, uh, I'll just give I'll just give up the seat, and I'll be happy to <laughs> get behind the camera. Or I'll just do a swap, <laughs> do a flip flop, do a flip flop. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think you did a good job. Yeah. Hopefully, people uh, like what you have to say. You still have questions for if we do another one, huh? I do. I have actually like uh, six good questions left on really? there. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Nice. Yeah. How long have we been going for? I think we've been going for, we've definitely been going 45 minutes. Really? We've almost been going an hour. Wow. Nothing else you want to say? Get off your chest? No. I, no. I thought I had something, but. Cool. Just floated away. Nice. That's good stuff. It was nice I enjoy to it. talk to you, if I may say. Oh my God, we haven't talked this much in <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> uh well, mm-hmm. how many people watch us? Uh, 16. Four. <laughs> to the four people watching, yeah. uh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Well, until uh, until next time, right? Yes, sir. Cool. Are you are you going to have a name for this next time? Maybe. Uh, tell people the name. Of the, okay, I, my idea is Psych Ward. Really? I thought that was kind of cool. Because yeah. you kind of have that, that uh, um what do you call it? Branding. Cause that was your first Twitch was your first. And yeah. you did, you went with miss psychology, yep. the whole psychology degree, the whole miss, miss psychology. And you spelled psych, like psych. Oh, <laughs> that's it's pretty clever. So wacky. It's so wacky and clever. <laughs> it's um, mispronounced like so yeah. often. But you know, what's kind of cool is when clever. people mispronounce things, they remember things. Yeah. you like, do I you think so. Uh, really? Oh, you know what? I forgot. I'm gonna throw in another because I was just thinking of somebody has a weird name that I always messed up. That I think she, that's like one. Of, I guess if I was going favorite ASMR artist when I saw with Frivy is the 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 Russian girl. Um, I'm gonna I'll screw up her name. Oh, Palasia. Palasia. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But she's like she's stuck on in my Twitch head now. I think is I don't she? Think she? Yeah, you know she is. YouTube. She is on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, she's so good. She does like her girlfriend role plays on Twitch. Oh which yeah. Is lovely. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, her voice is yeah spectacular. So yeah, she'd be another one. But yeah. her name was something that was I was like plagia, plagia, and it just oh. it stuck in my mind that the. So I think when people like pronounce something wrong, misskyology, missy ski, miskeology, miskeology, that type of stuff. I think they kind of remember uh, it more. But maybe I don't know. I do. like psych ward. I like it because I think we can kind of deep dive on things. Can I be Mister Psych? If you're Miss Psych. Yes. Really? <laughs> All right, I can't tell, I'll take it. I can't tell if that's lame or cool. I uh, think it's kind of cool. All right. You, yeah. <laughs> see, it's probably lame as hell, but you're just like, know, that's cool. damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, totally. Uh, under your direction, I'll be Mr. Psych. I like it. Unless, uh, unless there are some suggestions for some real cool 
yeah. podcast names. Podcast formerly known as or something. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever Prince did. <laughs> no. Nope. Just a symbol. Yeah. Nope. All right. Nope. Cool. All right. All right. Well, you, hey, it's your podcast. You, you're the. Uh, you gotta okay. sign this off. Well, Are you gonna do a Bill O'Reilly? <laughs> <laughs> and here's Sting to play us out. If you guys don't know that video, I guess go watch it. Remember, <laughs> Bill <laughs> O'Reilly f- freaks out. <laughs> what does that mean to play us out? <laughs> I don't know. I gotta send you the video. I guess if you haven't seen it, mm-hmm. you never seen a Bill O'Reilly's freak out video. I think I've heard Howard play it. Yeah. What does that mean? Play us off. Yeah. What does that mean to play us off or play us out? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'll write it and we'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck All right, sorry. That's an old video. Well, fuck it. We'll end this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> or we'll keep talking all night. Uh, time to go pick up the kids? Yeah. Kisses. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm not kidding. Yep. You're, out of, you're out of your mind if you think Whatever. I'm kissing a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was a nice podcast. Good-ish. Good podcasting. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs>